Hi friends, Jen Foxbot here. I wanted to show you how to set up the Raspberry Pi and connect to it in a way where you only need the Raspberry Pi, an SD card with uh, the Raspberry Pi operating system, and a Raspberry Pi power supply. If your computer doesn't have an SD card reader, you'll also need an adapter like this one. All right, so let's get started. With the SD card inserted in your computer, you'll need two files. The first is pretty straightforward. We can just create a new file, a new text document, and call it SSH. That's it. And we wanna make sure that there's no extension. So if your computer adds a .txt, go ahead and remove it. The second file that we'll need is called the WPA supplicant file. And you can snag a copy of this from the GitHub repo, um, github.com slash Microsoft slash rpi dash resources. And then you navigate to the headless setup and you can copy and paste this into a text document. I'm gonna pause it here because what we need to do is insert our Wi-Fi SSID and our Wi-Fi password, and I wanna make sure that I keep mine secure. So go ahead and do that. When you're done editing your file, I forgot to mention, make sure you input your country code. If it's US, you just put US. And then save it on the SD card, Raspberry Pi, with the Raspberry Pi operating system as WPA underscore supplicant, whoops, dot C-O-N-F, exactly as is. Make sure you don't add any extra spaces in this file because Linux is very particular. One quick thing to add also is make sure that file name extensions are visible because sometimes if you can't see the file name extension, it will be there and things won't work. So make sure you have this checked, which is under view. So once you've added the SSH text file with no extension, and the WPA underscore supplicant dot conf file, again with no dot txt extension, you can go ahead and safely eject your SD card. Insert the SD card carefully into the Raspberry Pi and then plug it into the power supply and open a terminal on your computer. And then type, whoops, missing an S there ssh space pi at raspberry pi dot local minus o lowercase o and then user known host file equal slash dev slash null and this you can copy directly from the raspberry pi resources repo if you scroll down to configuring your raspberry pi hit enter and then say yes because we know what we're connecting to and then you wanna sign in. The first time you sign in, the password is raspberry. Make sure you change that. You can change that with uh, the password. Whoops, WD. Oh, okay, well, I always forget how you, what the command is for that. There we go, okay, pass the WD. Good times. So make sure you change your password. Um, Woo, and now your Pi is secure and you can connect with your Raspberry Pi. Yay, do all the things. I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. I will include the link to the GitHub repo and go forth and have fun wirelessly connecting with your Pi with just a power cable. Yay.